knockout punching power according to Mike Tyson and Kaz D'Amato. Here is our model for punching power development by Sugar Boxing Com. Let us put it into perspective for you. In this model, 13 years old Mike Tyson was already able to whip, not push his punches, and he showed some explosiveness when Kaz D'Amato first saw him. As a kid dynamite, at the age of 17, 19, he improved his explosiveness, mastered the kinetic chain, and developed combination punching skills. Finally, the bad intentions kicked in, and that's what made him prime Iron Mike Tyson we know in terms of punching power. Where are you on this chart? If you can only push, you've got just zero level. Do not give up, there is hope for you. Cas the motto, quote, there is no such thing as a natural puncher. There is a natural aptitude for punching and that is different. Nobody is born the best. You have to practice and train to become the best. End quote. Basically, Casdemaro advocates that some people are born with skills 1 and 2. We call such people natural punchers. If you already have these skills, it is great because it saves time. This doesn't mean, though, that one cannot acquire all skills 3 to 5. We call them acquired skills because they are not your permanent assets, and here is why. Mike Tyson reportedly trained badly after prison. He was often getting off balance when throwing punches. For instance, if you watch tapes, he would overextend after throwing the straight right hand and even lift up his right leg to restore balance. It looked clumsy and ridiculously amateurish. Also, he stopped throwing flurries and combinations he was famous for. These examples support the statement that skills 3 to 5, once developed, won't remain indefinitely as attributes. They can be easily lost if not applied or maintained regularly enough. However, the final element, the bad intentions or the killer instinct, is something that one may or may not possess in the end. This is more like a gift rather than skill actually. So how did Mike Tyson work on his punching power? Kevin Rooney quote, Mike's punching power was developed through hitting heavier bags over time. Kaz got Mike very heavy back to hit for at 13 years old and Kaz gradually increased the weight of the bags Tyson used over time, so that by age of 18-19 Tyson was banging bags that no other man could budge." End quote. What type of heavy bags did Mike Tyson work with? Stephen Lott, quote, We used water bags because they simulated the feel of hitting a human, and they were not hard on the hands. End quote. Here is an example photo where Mike Tyson was mentioned here Kevin Rooney work with the water punching bag Pow Air. Mike Tyson was 21 years old. The photo is taken from a video available on YouTube titled Mike Tyson Kills Heavy Bag 1987 Never Seen by Boxing Hall of Fame channel managed by Stephen Lott already mentioned here. How heavy were Tyson's heavy bags which he hit? Kevin Rooney, quote, We had him on a 350 pound bag just before he was about to turn pro in the fall of 84, but he injured his hand after a few weeks, so we did not use that again, end quote. Another quote by Stephen Lott. If I remember correctly, they were the heaviest bags that ringside made at that time, either 125 pounds or 150 pounds." End quote. What one can learn from these facts? Tyson weight increased from 80 kg to 9500 kg from the age of 13 to 18-19 years old. Over these 5-6 years, Mike Tyson transitioned from working with 125 slash 150 pound water bags to a 350 pound water bag. Thus, we can assume that somewhere in between he was working with maybe 175 to 125 pound water bags. Now, we can determine heavy bag size to body weight ratio for every year of his training. 
The numbers are in the table. How is it relevant for you then? What is the difference between you and Iron Mike? To sum up, as far as pure punching power is concerned, Mike Tyson was an exceptional athlete. No doubt about that. But everybody has to start somewhere, even him. As they say, there is a first time for everything. According to our model, the difference between you and Iron Mike is the defaults. What he already could do in early years of his training, a normal person would require extra few years of hard work. If you believe our model, it is absolutely possible to develop punching power, but it might take 6-8 years of very careful training process. Depending on your weight, physical conditions and skills, you may start with punching back size less than 50% of your body weight, then gradually increase it over the course of 5 to 7 years to about 150% of your body weight. Example table. Here are example tables for optimal punching bag weight. On the left is the table in Imperial or US units. On the right, the same information is presented in metric or SI units. Some general tips. First, ignore your ego. Choose a lighter bag than your ego might demand. Second, avoid injuries. The goal is to harden knuckles, strengthen wrists, tendons and joints. Even though the above table and facts we learn suggest in a tentative way to increase the weight of a punching bag every 6-12 months by 5-10%. In reality, it all depends on your comfort. There is no need to rush because an injury like soreness or pain may compromise all that you are trying to build. The most important tip is that the real secret to developing punching power is to be able to maintain the same hand speed while increasing the weight of bags you work with. Decrease punching bag weight and work harder with a lighter bag if you feel you are losing speed. Where to get a water punching bag? If you want to purchase a water punching bag and you do not mind to support our channel indirectly, please consider following the Amazon affiliate links in the description under the video. We have discussed why and how, but what are the pickup drills to work on the water punching bag? How to work with the water bag on punching power? This video is getting too long. For answers, stay tuned for new videos of the current series, also old and new ones, where we will cover specific things to focus on and ignore when working just on the punching power. A tentative water punching bag workout or set of drills in details. Head movements, relations between a sleep bag and a punching bag workout. More on our punching power development model, punching technique and shadow boxing, and many more. Thank you for watching.